All right, so this is the second part of the tutorial where we're looking at how to cre create this like flip card type animation. Uh, the what we have here is if we preview this, uh, you have a card that animates then it pauses. I can select it so I can click on it, select it, go to the selected state, um, click on it and deselect it. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, let's go ahead and create a selected state. So I'm going to go to edit states. We're going to Type in selected and selected is a pre built state, so it's kind of like an off on button. And uh, we, we've got our selected state here. Now, one of the nice things with these states is I can uh, edit and put all whatever I want to on, the sh on this slide. So, uh, for example, we see the selected state, and we can see here's the bounding box for the object, but I'm not confined uh, to that object, so I'm actually going to insert another object. And this will be kind of our note card that comes up. And let's just make it a different color. So uh, what we have is we've got our normal state. And then I'm here. And when I click on the shape, it's going to go to selected state, get my information. I can click on it and close it out. Now we're going to make this look a little nicer. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to have this animate in and animate out. So let's go to animations. And we're going to apply an entrance animation. We'll just do fly in, and we'll have it fly in uh, from the left, and we'll have that last a quarter of a second. And then we'll do a fly out animation, and we'll have that fly out to the left, and we'll do a quarter of a second. So the way entrance and anima exit animations work is that when an object comes on the screen, it's going to trigger the entrance animation, and when the object goes off the screen, it's going to trigger the exit animation. So when we go from a normal state to selected state, as soon as I go to selected state, this object's going to be active on the screen. So that's going to trigger the entrance animation. And when I click it to go back to the normal state, it's going to trigger the exit animation. So look at what we have. We've got a really nice, simple animation. So this comes in, it stops. I click, click. So I can have it open and close in a sense, right? Or turn it on, off, select, deselect. So that's basically it. So when you're working with the selected state, uh, you can add your content, right? So we've got our normal state. I add my selected state and do whatever I want to. And then just clicking uh, selects or deselects the object. One other thing we'll do in here, we're just going to go into the normal state. I'm going to add some text. And we'll just say, you know, here is uh, the front of the card. Right, and then I'm just going to go in here and we'll click here. Here is the, um, we'll say the note card. And that's what we would want to edit. So basically, if we look at this so far, if we look at the timeline, it's really just one object and there's no slide layers. And there's just one trigger that pauses the timeline when this card comes on the screen. So if we preview this again, the card's going to come on. It pauses. I can click, right? So everything works. And then I just need to trigger something to have this card leave. And that's what we're going to look at in the next tutorial.